Hi, I'm Joy from Bedtime Math. Today we're going to make a catapult and fling some objects. Here are some supplies you'll need to make your own catapult. Plastic spoons, items to fling, rubber bands, pencil and a thick marker, a popsicle stick or an extra pencil, and a measuring tape. I'm here in my super secret lair where we're gonna make this catapult. I have my assistant Peyton, who's gonna help me with supplies. Spoon, <laughs> pencil. Okay, put the spoon and the pencil together like this, making sure you leave enough room for the scoop to bend back and fling. Rubber band. Loop the rubber band around the spoon and the pencil to keep the two together, just like this. You'll want to lead, push the rubber band down most of the way, like so. Now that we've made our catapult, let's fling some objects. Peyton has the catapult and she's ready to launch the pom-pom. We've put down a piece of masking tape on the floor so that we've created a start line. Okay, and we have a lot of room to launch. You ready? Yes. Okay. Three, two, one, fling. We've extended the tape measure out past Peyton's ball. And let's see how far it flew. It's 12 feet, two inches, which is roughly 12 feet. Let's talk about how to measure. A measuring tape measures distances in inches and feet. Every 12 inches marks one foot. So 12 inches plus another 12 inches would be two feet and so on. Now it's my turn to launch. I'm interested to see how much farther or shorter my pom-pom will fly. Ready? My launch went eight feet, 10 inches. We'll round that up to nine feet. Let's do the math. Peyton's ball traveled 12 feet and my pom-pom ball traveled nine feet. So 12 minus nine is three feet. Peyton's launch traveled three feet farther. <laughs> Let's change up our catapult a bit. Take an extra rubber band and wind it around the tip of the pencil. Then insert your second pencil underneath the spoon. This will change the fulcrum of your catapult. Fulcrum is just a fancy way to say pivot point. Peyton has the catapult with the pencil inserted in it. Let's see if this makes it fly farther than the first launch. Three, two, one. This launch traveled 11 feet, four inches. That's a little bit shorter than Peyton's first launch of 12 feet. Now I have the catapult with the pencil inserted. Ready? Three, two, one. My ball traveled 15 feet, two inches. That's six feet farther than my first launch. Let's do the math. My launch traveled 15 feet and Peyton's launch traveled 11 feet. 15 minus 11 is four feet. So my launch traveled four feet farther. Let's change the fulcrum one last time. Remove the pencil and insert a thick marker. This is gonna give your scoop even more pullback and more power to your fling. This is our third and final fling. We have the catapult with the thick marker inserted. The player who flings the farthest could be the flying objects champion. Ready? Set. Fling. Are you ready for your last and final fling? Yep. Okay, three, two, one. My launch went 17 feet and Peyton's went 13 feet. I think those were our longest launches yet. Let's take a look at our scorecard and see how all these distances add up. Peyton's three launches went 36 feet. My launches went 41 feet. Both of our first launches traveled 21 feet. Our launches with the pencil fulcrum traveled 26 feet and the marker fulcrum 
traveled 30 feet for a total of 77 feet. You can keep playing the game by changing up the items you fling and comparing the distances. Try a crumpled up piece of paper, some different pieces of cereal, or even pasta. And if you don't own a tape measure, you can use your shoe as a standard of measurement. We measured Peyton's foot and found that one kid's shoe is about 10 inches long. So Peyton is going to put one foot in front of the other and count her steps from the starting line to the ball. Peyton took 10 steps at 10 inches per step. 10 times 10 is 100 inches. Since there are 12 inches in each foot, I'll divide 100 inches by 12 to get 8.3 feet. If you don't know how to multiply or divide just yet, simply count your steps from the starting line to the ball and record that on your scorecard. Hope you had fun flinging objects. See you next time. Bye.